Suter came out pumping, did what he did, what he had to do, did it very well. This is good pressure being applied. One Nearly one, his one, first 180, but not quite. Ready in the car, 56. So, to go within one leg of the second round, double top for the Dutchman. There you go. Very simple. And the third leg, Willie Vanderbilt. He hasn't missed a dart at a double flag, it's for a set, Vanderveel. It's punishing stuff. It takes its toll out on you if you're the opponent as well. Well, you mentioned golf. It's like your opponent always holding six-foot putts and forcing you to hold from five feet or four feet. Eventually, you're going to start missing. 96. Maybe that's what Suter's doing here. Forty-three. That's the little five-footer that just trickles past. His body language is all changed from set one. There's it, it, a look of resignation on his face now. Ninety-five. Can he just G himself up a bit? You know, his first 180 of the match would just, you know, swing the momentum back in his favour a bit. Sixty. Sadly, it looks as far away for Alan Suter as a hole in one looks for John Boy Walton at the moment. And this 180. Well, <laughs> so much route being felt it had to go in for Van der Veel. It's just. Hammering in nail after nail after nail. The way he's played the last set and a half, though, Van der Veel, you'd almost fancy his chances of taking out the 170. The biggest out shot in darts. Two treble 20s in a bullseye. For a place in the second round. Keeping us waiting. 84. Needs a big and hit. And yeah, really ought to just go all the way, I think. Try and hit that 180, but no. Nope. That first dart not really helping. That's a great cover shot, though. Bullseye. 61. Alan Uruguay, 76. Well, to prolong the match. Sixteen. We'll leave him double top. Well, if the crowd could will this one into double top, they would. Certainly large sections of them. Fifty-six. Really Did everything 25. right. But it's a hollow sound, that thud on the board. When your dart drops below the target. Two darts for Vanderville for round two. Only oh, needed one. Shot. And round one has and been safely match. negotiated by Give the Dutchman, who started a little slow and was caught cold by the suitor. But he's through, and it smiles in the Dutch camp tonight. Billy Vanderbilt wins what by again. three sets to one. Second round. Well, Willy van der Veel got going in the end, and when he did, Bobby, he was very, very hard to stop. Were you impressed by the Dutchman? Yeah. The first set I was, I didn't, I didn't think he played very well. Um, Alan Suter, Suter played very well the first set. You know, I'm quite impressed with the young man. Um, good action, bit of charisma. Willie van der Veel, a bit scruffy he was, but once he got into it, he was like, hit a 60, then, a, then another 60, then another 180. He's hitting a 180, he's, he's finishing well, and probably the experience, really. He, he played that, he's been here before. And he, he, he did play very good in the end, yeah. But Alan, him and his due, the young youngster, first time he was here, he'll be back. He wants some more of this. Well, Vili van der Veel, the number nine seed, safely through. Would it be unlucky for the man seeded 13th? Big Robbo, Gary Robson, all the way from Northumberland, was up against a man who hasn't appeared here at Lakeside for 11 years, Stevie Douglas. Well, Big Robbo got off to an absolute flyer, took the first set, and then in the second, 
He nailed the maximum checkout at ton 70, earning himself £3,000 and the big cheers from the crowd into the bargain. Well, we are going to join the action with Big Robbo in cruise control at the start of the third. Five times in nine previous appearances in this championship, we've seen Gary Robson fall at the first hurdle. 140. Right from his lakeside debut, and he lost 3 1 to uh, Raymond Van Barneveld. One hundred. Steve Douglas, with, with the slow nature of his play, when it's not going for you, you're kind of giving yourself time to dwell on the unfortunate situation you find yourself in. Time to let doubt One creep into hundred. every throw. One hundred and forty. Gary, you require one hundred and sixty-one. I think there are plenty of doubts creeping 60. into Steve Douglas's mind at the moment. Yeah, joked about drawing Gary Robson, didn't he, in this first round? And you have to be careful about what you wish for sometimes. This is better. Is it too little, too late? One hundred and thirty-nine. Gary, you require one hundred and one. 12. Oh, double 10. I was going to say 12 for double 16, but double 12 leaves double 10. 81. He wasn't far away. Steve, you require 62. Has to take this, Douglas. I think he's going treble 14 for some strange reason. Now, single 13 leaves him double top. Game yeah, well, sure. he got to it. End the first leg. He can't argue Steve with it. Steve Douglas. To be honest, treble 10, you know. To me, leaves you a, a, a slightly easier approach at that Game double on. top, but well done, Steve Douglas, nonetheless. The beauty of this sport, there's no right or wrong way to attempt something, just the application of it. As long as you hit the double, who cares how you get there? <laughs> Eight. And that was a big leg against the throw. If he can just sneak this set, then you never know. 18. He's, he's got the break, hasn't he, in this set? As I mentioned, Gary Robson does uh, occasionally switch off mid-match. 60. Both averaging 86 at the moment. There's, there's nothing to split them on the averages at all. 36. Or any more of that, there will be. One hundred and twenty five. That's a little more like it. Still hasn't hit a one eighty yet, Gary Robson. Ninety nine. Steve Douglas hit one with his first three darts. He may not need a 180, though. 60. <laughs> 41. Uh, wayward last dart there. All the good work Steve Douglas trying to put in in this leg and kind of undone by it. Away with Dart and Robson could leave himself double ten. One hundred and forty. So that's to wait for that Steve maximum. Steve one hundred and fifty-seven. Treble nineteen. Oh, left double top. Put pressure on Robson here. One hundred and thirty-three. 
three Harry good darts. Maguire, 60. That's a good marker. Double top he needs. 20. Steve Maguire, 24. All right then, Steve Douglas, fill your boots. Game fill shot. Them it is. And the second leg. Steve Douglas. Third leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. Well, finally they start to cheer a little more regularly. 40. He's got that comfort zone, hasn't he now, Steve Douglas, in this set, where you know, he doesn't have to break Gary Robson again. 60. He's got a leg coming up. If he loses this one, yeah, where he starts. 100. Solid so far from Robson, this leg. 82. Douglas, in fact, has the better checkout percentage. 50%. Yeah. 90. To Robson's 30%. He does, as Daryl Fitton nods in improvement. Thing is, though, he's got the better percentage because he's only eight times thrown for a double. Robson, with slightly better scoring, has thrown 20 times for a double. 100. There you are. Six out of 20 and, and four out of eight. It looks great 55. if you're talking percentages, but how do you beat you beat a politician, Vassos? And I'll make up more lies and damn lies from the statistics. Well, he's had two already. But he's going down. To treble nice. 130. Yeah, and, and wise to do Gary so as well. Left himself 120, which is a, a nicer finish. Uh, 119. But Robson could thwart 80. him. Didn't. Steve and this now for the set for Steve Douglas. Shanghai. Well, he's laughing, but, you know, loose start there and throwing away, you know, a nice little opportunity. Thirty-eight. Gary, you require thirty-six. Game shot in the there third it is. leg. Gary Robson. Fourth leg, it's Steve to throw first. Game on. And a great, so I was just about to say, a great start to the year, Steve Douglas, when he got to the semi-finals of the Dutch Open. One. He had a really good tournament out in Holland. On the floor, different player to the one I think we're seeing here tonight at the Lakeside. Robson's been on this stage before. He knows what it's all about. Finally gets his first maximum, but you know he's been in control of this game. Not much has changed in 11 years since Steve Douglas was last on this stage. But if you haven't done something for over a decade, the memory can sometimes fail you. 100. Chairs and tables are different, though. They've had new ones put in for this year. Less smoke <laughs> as well. 140. That's very true, but the same old happy atmosphere. One hundred. Steve, you require one hundred and sixty-one. Treble seventeen now. Bullseye for the set for Steve Douglas. Oh, unlucky. One hundred and thirty. Almost didn't want to release the dart. You require one hundred and twenty-one. Options here. Treble 17. Now cannot finish. 61. Steve, you require 30. To take us into a fourth set. Single 11 leaves double 10. Double 5. Lot riding on this now. Oh, and he's missed 21. it. Oh, dear. Gary, you require 16. Single 20, leaves double 20. 
Game shot and the fourth leg. Gary Robson. Well, it could easily have been two sets to one in Robson's favour, but now Fifth he's pulled a leg back. To throw first.